the dramatic moment of the high-stakes prisoner swap. Brittany Griner in the red coat walking towards the American plane. Coming towards them, State Department official Roger Karstens, accompanying Victor Boot, who was hugged by a Russian official. This new video from Russian state media shows Griner leaving Russian detention and boarding the plane in the snow. Her passport returned, Griner smiles, knowing she's heading home. Are you ready for a long flight? Uh, yes. Congratulations Thank again. You. Back in the U.S., Griner's wife, Sherelle, was invited to the White House. Today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. The release was the culmination of many months of negotiations with Russia. This work is not easy. Negotiations are always difficult. There are never any guarantees. But it's my job as President of the United States to make the hard calls and protect American citizens everywhere in the world. The WNBA star, who was caught with cannabis oil entering Russia, spent 10 months in Russian detention. But now she's spared from a brutal nine-year sentence in a Russian penal colony. U.S. officials said that the trade for notorious Russian weapons smuggler Victor Boot was finalized in the past 48 hours. Griner was moved from her prison to Moscow before being flown to Abu Dhabi, where the exchange took place on the tarmac of a small private airfield. I'm glad to be able to say that Brittany's in good spirits. She, uh, she's relieved to finally be heading home. The U.S. wanted to trade boot for both Griner and American Paul Whelan, but Russia refused. In an exclusive interview from his penal colony, Whelan told CNN he's surprised he wasn't included. I'm greatly disappointed that more has not been done to secure my release. I'm happy that Brittany is going home today and that Trevor went home when he did, but I don't understand why I'm still sitting here. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go home. Whelan told CNN that the Russians see him at a higher level than Griner. He's been charged with espionage and sentenced to 16 years. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. The choice was one or none. I wholeheartedly wish that we could have brought Paul home today on the same plane as Brittany. The big question now is how to get Paul Whelan home, who the Russians will want in exchange, and whether the U.S. will be willing to do it. Jake, you could hear in that exclusive interview that Paul Whelan did with our colleague Jennifer Hansler that he is deeply frustrated. He says that today Russia got the better deal. The, gr the grinder was exchanged for what he called a world-class felon. He said he believes that Russia is dangling him, Paul Whelan, over Biden's head and that they will want something big in exchange. Now, as for Brittany Griner, she is on her way back to the United States. She is due to land in San Antonio, Texas. We don't quite know when. That, of course, is where Trevor Reed was also taken when he was released uh, by the Russians back in April. And that is where Griner, like Reed, will be able to get any medical attention that she needs. All right, Alex Marquardt, thanks so much. Brittany Griner's basketball team, the Phoenix Mercury, has been tweeting for weeks, counting the days that Griner has been in Russian custody, calling for her release. Today, the team tweeted, no more days. She's coming home. Joining us now is Terry Jackson. She's the executive director of the Women's National Basketball Players Association. Thanks so much for joining us. How would you feel this morning when you heard the news? Thank you, Jake. I, um, I go to bed every night saying Brittany's coming home tomorrow. So I was anxiously anticipating this morning. Um, I thought I was just going to be happy, 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 and I, I was, but hearing the news just released the gates of emotion. I sobbed like I haven't sobbed in quite a long time, but it was all tears of joy, have pure you, joy. Have you been told any information about how Brittany is doing? Um, I have not. I have not. You know, I've done these interviews in the past, spoken with you and your, your, your colleagues, and I say every time I see an image of BG, I lean in to see if I can read her face. Um, she has beautiful cheekbones. She's, she's striking. And just seeing, just seeing the smile, um, seeing that there was a, a, some good spirits there made me feel good. But I know that there is a journey ahead um, of healing and, and wellness, and, and we are all here for it for her. Have you spoken to Brittany's family at all or any of her teammates? What, what are they saying? Um, well, her teammates, yes, of course. Those are my members. Those are my bosses. Those are who I report to. So, yes, um, they, are, they are filled with joy. 
Um, we've had conversations, live conversations, a lot of texting, and these, as you can imagine, lots of emoji-filled texts. Um, I, I have sent messages to Sherelle knowing that she will respond to me when she can, when she has a moment. No, you know, no expectation there, but I've also been very closely um, tied to her team, Lindsay Kagawa Colas, who is her representation here in the U.S. and in the WNBA, um, and has really been leading this effort uh, magnificently. And so we have been in touch. And so, you know, I, I just can't wait to hear that BG's feet are on U.S. soil. Do you expect that she'll be able to continue playing basketball professionally? <laughs> um, what's what's going on? That's my, that's my, my family is, is has been in the trenches on, on this. So, that's wonderful. Um, that's so sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do I do I expect that she'll be playing soon? Was that the question? Jay? Yeah. You know what? I expect and hope that BG does whatever brings her joy. Um, would we? Would I love to see her back amongst the 144 so that we are truly complete? Absolutely. But what I want for BG is what is best for BG, and only she can determine that. But I support wherever she lands, 1,000%. All right, go give your, your son another hug. Terry Jackson, thanks so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.